During the first year of it, I was living in Montreal. They had one stupid argument pretty regularly <laughs> about, about cardinal points. I would say to people, oh, uh, yeah, I was in that building. And they'd say, oh, you mean this building? I'd be like, no, the one to the north. And people would say, oh, no, you mean uh, the one to the east? <laughs> I realized that there's a problem with the Montreal compass points in people's heads. I even find maps to this day that are uh, rotated in the wrong direction just to kind of help the locals understand where things are and in my opinion enable this ridiculous behavior. People even pull this argument from authority line on me. You know you're a fake. Oh, I've lived here my whole life. I know where north is. You know that. Montreal is the only major city where the sun rises in the north and sets in the south. So the axis is tilted about 60 degrees for most of the island. People in Montreal aren't stupid. There's probably a reason for this. So I've been kind of thinking about it over years. So at first I thought it was because the suburb Montreal North sat to the north of historic center of town and the same for Montreal West. Both of these uh, suburbs kind of got enveloped by the town and so you know like you have Montreal North, North side, Long Beach. and then what happens when Montreal expands beyond Montreal North. North side, North side, Long Beach. So like Montreal North is like some sort of crappy magnetic North but you know like Philadelphia they have North Philly but people in Philadelphia don't have an issue figuring out where North is. In West Philadelphia born and raised. Vancouver has North Van, but people there still know where North is. In the early days of almost any town before it expands, there's gonna be North of city center and people can still kind of comprehend that as the city expands further to the North of the North suburb that it's still North. So it can't be that. Why do these cities not have the same problem? Maybe it's something to do with the geography of the town. Like most cities, Montreal is built near water, but unlike most cities, our water feature only really serves to confuse us. Other cities have water features that keep things simple. Relative to the historic center of Philadelphia, the water feature sits to the east and to the west and kind of like aligns you in the city. And in Vancouver, Varad Inlet is right on the compass point. So unlike those cities, Montreal is a huge island. The river wraps around it and changes its cardinal points a full 90 degrees. Sometimes the St. Laurent is to the east of you and sometimes it's to the south. And if you compare that to a smaller island, like Manhattan, the water features actually do align consistently along the entire island. Another issue Montreal has is we only have one visible feature from most of the city and that's Montreal. We don't have like a ridge of mountains that you can look at or one mountain to the north, one mountain to the south. Compounding this is the street grid problem. The street grid in Philadelphia and Vancouver lines up really close to north and south and I guess this is probably because street grids usually line up with the water features. Usually you'll kind of start off with your older town having a road that goes along the river or lakefront and then things kind of build off that and because of us having a, a water feature that's inconsistently angled we end up with a street grid that's inconsistently angled too. Unlike Manhattan the older parts of Montreal are perfectly ambiguous. The roads are totally off the cardinal points so you're probably not going to name a road something like St. Catherine Northeast and St. Catherine Southwest. So roads with west in the name end up being, you know, southwest, etc. And so in conclusion, you just have to accept it. This is one of those things where um, you are not as smart as you sound. You, this is one of those things where you're not as smart as you think you are when you bring it up with people. Sometimes people will be like, oh yeah. But it's a commonly understood thing that's off about Montreal. You can obviously go on a, a single person vendetta, but you're better off just going along um, with everyone else's mess delusion. And I kind of think of it as being one of those things that just makes Montreal interesting. So I would be really interested to know if anyone else knows of a city that has this cardinal point problem. And honestly, if anyone has any ideas on how to fix it, I mean, besides removing uh, east and west from the road names. Although I do have one idea. Now that Montreal is less religious, maybe we have a once in a generation opportunity.